ಹೆಲೋ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮಹಿಳಾ ಸಮಾಜ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಏಯ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೋಯಟ್ರಿ ಆಫ್ ಏಯ್ತ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪೋಯಟಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಫ್ಲಿಯೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಟ್ ಕಾಕ್ ಪೋಯಟ್ರಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಫ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಟ್ ಕಾಕ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಪೋಯಟಸ್ ಫ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಟ್ ಕಾಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ ಓಕೆ ಯರ್ ಶಿ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ನ್ಯೂಜಿಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಿಟಿಷ್ ಸಿಟಿಸನ್ ಶಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವರ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ಲೈಬ್ರರಿಯನ್ ಇನ್ ಲಂಡನ್ ಫ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಅಟ್ ಕಾಕ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಡಿಟೆಡ್ ಎಡಿಟೆಡ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಫೈಡ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಬರ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಏತ್ ಸೆಂಚುರಿ ವುಮೆನ್ಸ್ ಪೋಯಟ್ರಿ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಪೋಯಮ್ಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅ ವುಮೆನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಅ ವೈಫ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮದರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ದ ಪೋಯಟ್ satirically or ironically points out the oppositions in our day to day dealings of life flea at cock points out the differences between what we preach and what we really practice and she also tells the tells that by nature human beings do not practice what they preach now read the poem now i'll read the poem once all the two paras a snail is climbing up the window sill into your room after a night of rain you call me in to see and i explain that it would be unkind to leave it there it might crawl to the floor we must take care that no one squashes it you understand and carry it outside with careful hand to eat a daffodil i see then that a kind of faith prevails your gentleness is molded still by words from me who have trapped mice and shot wild birds shot or shoot okay from me who droned your kittens who betrayed your closest relatives and who pervade the harshest kind of truth to many other many another but that is how things are i am your mother and we are kind to snails glossaries of this poem window sill here window sill means lower wooden frame of the window window sill means it is the lower wooden frame of the window usually it, it will be very flat and broad that no one squashes it here it means since the snail is a slow creature means it moves very slowly so it is likely to be crushed under one's foot squashes means it has been crushed it may crush okay to eat a daffodil it means to feed the snail the snail eats daffodils daffodils are a type of flower that blooms in early spring next a kind of faith prevails it is commonly believed that character is built rather by words of advice than advice than by imitation of what others actually do of course this is not true it is only a prevailing belief not based on truth next still means even now pervade means carried on or delivered this is the first para 
a snail is climbing up the window sill into your room after a night of rain you call me in to see and i explain that it would be unkind to leave it there it might crawl to the floor we must take care that no one squashes it you understand and carry it outside with careful hand to eat a daffodil here the first para it refers that the poetess here she illustrates this human behavior by narrating a fictional episode in which she imagines her 5 year old child calling out one rainy night to show his mother the child's mother a snail which has been which is climbing in the window sill the mother here here the mother it refers to the poetess okay here she explains to the child that it is unkind to leave the snail there okay she is telling that it is very unkind to leave the snail in that place because it may climb down to the floor it may crawl down to the floor so it is better to take care of it before someone unknowingly means without knowingly they may squash squash means they may crush it and the mother here she also asks the child to carry the snail outside carefully to the garden and she also tells uh, the child to leave the snail on a daffodil flowers for it to eat next stanza i see then that a kind of faith prevails your gentleness is molded still by words here it means in the in this stanza the poet wonders why such a kind of faith still exists okay still exists and uh, where people still believe that character is built by mere words of advice than by actions of others at last and from me who have trapped mice and shot wild shoot wild birds from me who droned your kittens who betrayed your closest relatives and who pervert the harshest kind of truth to many other but that is how things are i am your mother and we are kind to snails here she has she means mother poet she is telling that she had trap she uh, that mother had trapped mice and she shot wild animals and she also drowned his kitten she had also betrayed her, her closest relatives and she also delivered the very harshest kind of truth to others but she asks her son she has all these qualities even though she asks her son to show kindness to snail she regrets her actions as a mother she wanted to teach him kindness she consoled herself by showing kindness to the snail here the child learns gentleness and his character is also molded by his mother's kind words he doesn't he does not oppose his mother's advice and he also does not imitate his mother's behavior in treating others and other animals the ch- here the children are very innocent they'll be very very innocent for them there is none okay there is none equal to their mother they also follow their mother's words and we can also mold the character of children by giving proper guidance and here she strongly believes that being a mother of a child she is right in advising her child to be very good and kind and gentle to others and animals 
and so both the mother and the child they are kind to the little creatures like snails dear children i hope you people have understood this poem all the all the aspects of this poem now let us move on to your homework part home assignment answer the following questions and share your responses with your partner the first question is name the creature mentioned in the poem in this poem there is a creature which are, which is mentioned means you you should go through first para go through the first para and you will know which is the creature so here name the creature mentioned in the poem which is the creature you should write here who do you think is the speaker okay who is the speaker of this poem you should write write that okay and who is the speaker addressing here the speaker is addressing okay here the speaker is addressing to someone okay go through the poem and then write the proper answer you will get it is very easy next fourth question what does the child want his mother to see and next it is also based on first para itself okay and this question okay and next fifth question is what does the mother tell the child okay what does the mother tell the child okay here she is telling to be very kind to the other creatures not unkind okay dear children go through the video and understand the poem then do your homework Thank you dear children